Hi, I'm George Self. This video is one in a series designed to help with Logisem Evolution Digital Logic Labs. This is Lab 8, Reaction Timer. The purpose of this lab is to build a reaction timer. This is intended to be a fun circuit, but you will be pretty much on your own to design it. In the end, this is the, what you should come up with. First, I'm going to enable the simulator and it's counting. Let's ignore that for the moment because it's enabled. I will mention that I've set the tick frequency at about 32 hertz. You can use whatever you want. As you're designing the circuit, you'll probably want to set the frequency a little lower. And I've got the ticks enabled. I'm going to stop this. The way this circuit works is when I click the start button, waiting will light up. It will wait a random number of ticks of the clock and then it will go out. As soon as it goes out, this clock will begin and I have to see how fast I can click stop. It times my reaction. Oh, let me just show you. Start and stop. Well, it took nine ticks. Start and let me click start again there go and, and stop well that wasn't very good start and stop start and <laughs> i clicked it too fast once more start and stop start and stop so you can see this is just a fun little circuit it's not intended to be anything heavy duty unfortunately your starter circuit just doesn't have much in there there are two sub circuits. There's a countdown sub circuit. This is designed to set that waiting period. It's a countdown timer that counts down a certain number of ticks until the uh, clock begins. And then the reaction circuit is actually the clock that will start as soon as the countdown has ended and will stop as soon as the user clicks a stop button. And then the main circuit generally doesn't have much at all, except the start and stop button, that waiting. And then, of course, there will be a digital di display that comes off of this reaction time. Ooh, that's about it for this video. I'm not giving you much help, but by this point, you should be good enough with digital logic that you can make this happen. Don't get too frustrated with it. If you get really stuck, let me know and I'll be glad to help. I'll be seeing you online.